Welcome back to an episode of We Wave to the camera and there are a few more tasks to do in our little half and home area because right now the dispatch is back again and maybe there's also some research that's finished so let's check both and then we know if it's profitable or not so let's see you're back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was waiting for you. Right. There are matters that need your approval. Research is You can go not. check them in the office. Yes. And there's this thing. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit much. Um, in this case, all of them are just an R. So let's just go uh, through them one after another. Let's say two and two and two. I mean, two, four and six. Uh, I actually have enough of resources available to make that work, which is great. So then, let's complete... No, wait a minute, cancel. Uh, how long is that? 21 minutes. Okay, nope. Uh, it's just the research that's ready. The dispatch itself is still going strong. Great. And... No, 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 no. And this one, son of a scuppy. Yeah, 20-something minutes. <laughs> it's just insane how much money you can make with the trading. It's, it's, it's absolutely bonkers. Alright, so let's go into the wave strand point. Strand point. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Movement debuffs have a shorter duration when applied to other adventures. Yes. Ah, oh, it's such a happy-go-lucky area. Kind of feels as if this is another hub area, like similar to Lieutenant Castle. Uh, it's quite true. Quite, quite. So, guard Tiburon. Welcome, King's Knight. Hmm. Wavestone Port is the nexus of all trade in Lutera, managed by Lord Kals. Since you are here as the King's friend, the Lord will provide nothing but the best for you. Oh, and if you, no, if he should commit a minor plunder, I beg for your, your gracious understanding. Since he's a good man at heart, what Kells should be at the guard office. Have a good time in the port then. Ready. Let's just have a little look around, shall we? Uh, and how convenient it is that the dude is right around the corner. Right next to the next side mission, and also... Right next to the, all of the other exchanges and so on. Uh, wait. The side mission is also inside here. I've never Great. seen you before. Mm hmm. Let's just let him uh, wait a bit for us. And yeah, that's strange. There's nothing else to do. Wait. What if we can <laughs> go around it? So Malru, those pirates have made the people at the port pretty anxious. At the King's Knight, I am sure you're well acclaimed, acquainted with the situation. We have been bolstering our patrols, but when the people see our men in uniform, they tend to keep quiet about everything, so it's hard for us to investigate. We might find some clues if you could tell us uh, whatever rumors you hear going around. Please share what you learn with our guards on patrols. Righty. Let's see. Do we have any... Uh Hidden. I mean, there have to be hidden areas in here, right? Like, there's. It's always something hidden, something that you can pass through, but uh, as long as there's some furniture, right? I've never I seen you before. Are you a traveler? Just visiting the port? <laughs> oh! That Kells fella. Wait a minute. Haven't we seen this guy in the stronghold before? I've never seen you. Uh, very good. Wavestern Port is under the management of a very capable and handsome young lord. Who's that, you ask? The most noble lieutenant's sword and the most loyal servant of King Thoray. His most gracious royal majesty, me, Lord Kals. By the way, why have you come searching for my gracious self? Good question. Uh, show Thoray's orders, yes. And here are the orders. Uh, point number one. Uh, I hereby decree I say. in the royal name of King Thyrain. You are to provide the bearer of this letter with a royal vessel. See to it that the bearer's every need is accommodated oh. until the bearer departs. The bearer? What do you mean, ring bearer? <laughs> Sir. You're the knight sent by his majesty. In 
indeed. Oh, yeah, uh, I know you from somewhere, definitely. What on earth are you talking about? Uh, we couldn't have met before. I don't know you. Hmm. Ah, so you, oh Lord, ah, the Knight's Knight. <laughs> King's Knight. You should have come with your servants. You were dressed so poorly that I didn't recognize you. Oh, come on. Well, the fact that you were able to recognize me, Kells, only proves how famous I am. I humbly show my respect for your honesty. Welcome to Wavestrand. As for the ship under construction, well, we gave it our best effort since we thought His Majesty would be sailing, but oh well. Let's just say the ship you are about to receive will be lauded by even the most seasoned shipbuilders. I even did you the honor of designing the ship and leading the construction myself. If you go to the shipyard now, you can witness the sheer majesty of that great vessel. Go meet Balmos, who runs the shipyard, and I'll follow you when I can. Oh, I got new mail. What's it this time? Clotted bloodstones? Yes. Money. Right. <laughs> it's so insane. Uh, okay, sometimes you can just pass through that. Sometimes you can't. Not yeah. Like, you know if you can pass through this if you see your pointer outside, but this is not true right now. Righty then. Uh, wait, what's the other one? Uh, go to the Plaza Bullets in Board, which is over here. Have any letters to send? Hmm. Listen to the rumors. Those cruel monsters, eh, they end up as shark feed. More like fodder, not feed. Dissatisfied crew. With what? Those redfin pirates are a big problem. Hmm. Listen to the rumors again. There seem to be an awful lot of pirates going about. The rumors say that even Black Fang appeared. What should we do? Oh, good question. Good question. Alright, the next one comes up horizon. Money. This giant is it's affecting pirates. everyone. Did you see anyone suspicious? Hmm. King No, Knight Nanafari. Greetings. Pardon. Now we even have Black Fang to deal with, as if the red thin pirates weren't enough horrible. We Better bolster our patrols even further to reassure the people. Thank you for letting us know. Hmm, the port is always crowded, but ultimately everyone leaves. Only merchants like us and hungry cats stay behind and grow all together. I'm telling you, the cats around here are special. Seriously, they're the only thing in my life I look forward to every day. If you're curious, go to Alda over there and ask if she has anything to give to the cats. And of course, there's some cat food. Perfectly edible. Oh, what about this one? A gear merchant. Let's see. Uh, that one is slightly... Well, it is slightly better. Yeah, let's just buy this one off. Bam. So, we got this. And we're going to dismantle that. And everybody's happy. So, cat food? Uh, all they do is make noise. I don't see what's so special about them. Haina is kind to a fault sometimes. I've got some dried fish got here if you'd like to take some. I guess they'll cry less if they're full. And also for some strange reason, if you... What's this? Ocean liner and bogman. Okay. If you feed cats, then their tendency to catch mice goes up. But it's kind of strange. So, what do we have here? An awful lot of cats. Do we get another pet? That would be sweet. Yeah. Do we need to feed them again? Put the cat food in the cat bowl. What was the first task, actually? Say hi to the cats? Ah, meow, meow, meow. It's kind of interesting what the different sounds are that those cats are doing. Like in different languages. So, oh my. That's what Alda said. <laughs> She doesn't mean any of that. She always has some cat food ready to go. If anything, she's really the one taking care of the cats. Not me, her. Anyway, thanks for taking care of the kitties. Come here again soon. Hey there, could you take this tuna great to the fishwife store? Please tell Alda the fishwife that the tuna hasn't been deboned completely. It's strange, she normally wouldn't make these sorts of mistakes. Well, if you want to debone a fish, then just give it to the cats and then they're all right. Da -da -dee, da -da 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 and down we go. 
Isn't this the tuna I sold to Haina? Yes, it is. It still has bones left in them? That's odd. Hmm. Well, I got it. I'll debone it right away and get it back there. Thanks for the delivery. Oh, no offense taken. That's quite interesting. I like this auto tuna preparation machine. Ah, it debones and cuts tunas in a single operation. But maybe this one's defective because it malfunctions sometimes. And I've been getting complaints about remaining bones and some other quality related issues. I want to go confront the person who sold it to me, but I know nothing about machines and I can't leave my shop unattended. Could you go and talk to the peddlers from the other side of the sea on my behalf? Yeah. In this case, it's always good if you have two different uh, kinds of products, right? One of them is the machine deboned stuff, and then you have hand deboned things. And then you just uh, have different uh, prices for both. And just let the people pay, and then there are no complaints, of course. Find the merchant from the country, merchant... From from the country of machines. Glance. Ah, did I sell that machine? Of course. I'm the only one in the sport carrying Eden or Corporation products. You know that company, right? For all the troubles uh, the company has had, their product quality has never been questioned. But I don't know why the machine does what it does sometimes. But it's not the first one to cause such problems. So I contacted Eden. The experts there said salty air accelerates corrosion in machines. I don't believe in experts though. Anyway, we don't have to know the cause to solve this problem. Just lubricate the machine and it'll work just fine. There are machinery lubricants, but some simple fish oil would do the job too. Oh, fish oil. Fish oil would be great because um, we don't want any uh, other untasteful oil in the machinery. So, fish oil, really? I should have asked him earlier. Huh, thank you so much. Oh, and we got another one. Bam. And the rain. Sweet. Why is that stuff just untradeable? It's so strange. This giant Did you see anyone suspicious? Hmm. Anyone uh, suspicious? Yeah. What brings you here? What's that? We have to hand over the ship to you? Mm-hmm, indeed. Uh, well, the ship is still under construction. Given its large scale, we didn't have enough time. Well, rather, we ran into all sorts of problems. We can't even be certain of when we'll actually finish. We are really trying our best, you know? Mm -hmm. Here, come here! <sighs> I put a lot of work into this ship because I thought it was for the king. Well, I am the king orders of the sea. Orders. Come along. <laughs> Behold, the pride of the Moronto clan. Uh huh. I don't see any sails on it. I'll be sorry to see such a beauty go. <laughs> hmm. It seems dissatisfied. What do you think? Isn't it marvelous? Ah, <laughs> uh, it depends. Ah, uh, anything that this Lord Cal's touches is and turns into a masterpiece, you see? This is nothing. If you meet all the shipbuilders at the shipyard, you'll learn that each and every one of them are so proud to be participating in my shipbuilding project. I'm sure they will all say that there's no greater honor than to participate in this noble project to build the greatest ship in all of Lutera. I'm sure they'll be further motivated if you go and give them a word, blah, blah, a word of encouragement. Hmm. <laughs> Probably meaning work harder. Asking how the shipbuilding is going. That's Don't always. get me started. It would be a relief if we actually finished. Mm-hmm. So they're not quite on schedule, which is understandable. Schedules like these will never be met. What should I do? It's just what it is. Cal said this is the best ship in the world. Cal's? Mm -hmm. Again? All that vanity is driving me crazy. Hmm. Looks like he has some deeper insight, which kind of goes against what Cal says. But yeah, just marketing. <laughs> Shipwright Baza. Any problems with building the ship? That's the strange <sighs> question. They keep rushing us to finish. But we don't even have enough materials. Oh, okay. So that's what we need. I can arrange that. Um, no. I mean, I'm... I'm sorry. I just... I just can't meet 
I can't meet the deadline. Hoy, we've managed to work around the strangest blueprint Lord Cal's drafted, but there's no way to stop the materials from mysteriously disappearing. We have no idea what's going on here, but there's definitely a thief somewhere. <laughs> Who steals wood? We'll still try our best to meet the deadlines as much as possible. Uh, you want to help us catch the thief? Of course. And I recommend you go check the tavern. I've heard rumors that a very suspicious lot have been seen there recently. Yeah, a suspicious lot does make them thieves suddenly. Did you see anyone suspicious? So, let's just check down here. Mm, I miss your older brothers. Hmm. Okay. This is where you can fish a little bit. But we don't care. So. Hmm. Hey there, adventurer. Wait a minute. Looks like you could use some repairs. Well, I... Yeah, I could definitely do... Use some. Hey, music box. Nice. Hmm, if I would be a more Coco, would I be in here? Yes, definitely. I'm pretty drunk. Uh, Nothing like no. a bit of grog to kill that sickness. Oh, come on. Why can't you just go through <laughs> here? Bring on more grog. Hmm, nothing around here. Everybody walks around like crazy. Oh, there we go. Then activate it. What a strange machine. Turn it on. It is on. Oh. Hey, everyone, drinks are on this adventure. How about a round of applause? Welcome. No. Come looking for the finest grog in all of Wave Strand Port? Um, I tend to keep my mind perfectly clear. Well, it doesn't really matter if it's, like, somewhat nebulous sometimes. What's that? A suspicious person? Well, this is quite the noisy and crowded place, you see. How about you listen in on what the sailors are yapping about? They're all drunk, so they won't really notice you listening on them. Uh-huh. Don't just uh, underestimate the sailors. What do we have here? Bartender has um, some stuff that we can get. Everything is, of course, untradeable. Except for the uh, things that you may craft on your own. Maybe this is the restriction. What do we have here? A uh, clotted thing. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. A steam deposit, but I, yeah. Da, 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 da. Like Money. Let's listen. Bring on more grog. Oi. So I heard a rumor that the Black Fox has come to Lutera. The Black Fox? Here? Ain't that the pirate Black Fang ship? The very one, my lad. Watch your backs. Mm, speak with Enough in the tavern. Yep. Now we know more. Black Fang? Of course I know her. Oh. She's okay. the most famous pirate there is. Mm, here she was embroiled in such huge incident between the pirate recently. There was a bit of an uproar in the tavern over there. But what about Black Fang? Oh, pirates in the port? I'll let you in on a little secret. There are actually some pirates who've been frequenting this tavern pretending to be regular sailors. They all drink like fish, too. If you're looking for the pirates, take a close look around the tavern. But as long as they There's keep some coin Water right in the tavern, range. isn't that quite a positive thing? Uh, <laughs> Who are you? Hmm. Want to hear any tales about this old sea dog? Well, then, on you go. If you want to uh, if you want to hear my story, go fetch me a glass of that wave strand rum over there. Young uns these days got no manners, I tell ya. <laughs> Wave strand rum, a mm. mighty strong drink. You're gonna drink it all by yourself? Indeed. <laughs> You're one reckless drinker. Well, don't blame me if you pass out. What? <laughs> uh, I don't need this. Well, join me. Fine by me. A new drinking buddy is always welcome. Mm hmm. And someone who holds back the, the hair once you puke it all out. Rasi, strong rock chest filled to the brim with gold. That's a pirate's out. I mean, sailor's life. Ah, after me scores real big at this porter, I can finally get a better seat up the ladder. Say, I could easily make bosun on the red thin after that. E uh, what do you say? If you want to. I could take you in under my wing right now. <laughs> 
you interested in piracy? Uh, privacy, yes, 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 indeed. And tell me about uh, privacy. <laughs> wow. uh, you know your stuff. Mm -hmm. You're right. Uh, they all look down on us. Uh, show them. You know, we were born anew under the leadership of the great pirate captain, <laughs> big guy. Uh... Ah, yeah, that, uh, that we were, yes, sire. Uh, so we wanted to be do something big, you know. We were borrowed some stuff. The shipbuilding materials. We Redfins stole them all. <laughs> yeah. Right. And now we know where the stuff is. As long as they turn it into profit uh, in a while, you could think of this as some kind of investment. You're saying the pirates are stealing shipbuilding materials from the port? Think of this as investment. I mean, they're pirating around, and they come back with coin, then they spend it in the tavern, and everybody wins. If that's the case, I'm sure they've been stockpiling them somewhere near the port. Hmm. Perhaps the members of the Traders Guild might know something since they manage the warehouse. As for me, I'll take that pirate into custody for now. Oh, uh, you want to check with the guildsman yourself? This poster is a wanted notice for some of the most notorious pirates as of late. If you could post them on the bulletin board on the way to the guild, I could greatly help maintain security in the port. I Well then, uh, let's post some uh, posters. That's the... Yeah, that's the name of it. It's a poster because it gets posted. On a post. Like as in a, a piece of wood that's standing out and you put it on it. This is why it's called a poster. <laughs> that's great. It's, 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 it's posted because it's connected to a post. This is strange. Huh. It says nothing about what it is. It just says something about where you can find it. <laughs> Neat. Let's attach it. Blackfang, the captain of a black fox. That's room well the great time time is dead. And another gear merchant. What do we have here? Um, that thing is as good as the. Wait a minute, didn't I? Have any letters to send? Eh, uh, not yet. So, Ed, the red, the captain of the red fin pirates. And then we got number three, Hibik, the red fin pirate captain. Hibikaye, motherfucker. So, anything in here? Uh, the overstock manager, Milk. Pirates, you say? Hmm. This is trouble. Oh, is it? I was wondering if those terrible rumors were true. Those cursed pirates, so they've been plotting something even ashore at the port. Let's see. There's a uh, one warehouse that is a bit suspicious. Is it now? Uh, there's nothing. Oh, wait, the Guildmaster wants this. <laughs> or Onesis. <laughs> oh, what a quite fitting name. So. Hmm. That one takes a half an hour. And the dispatch is done. Yeah. Let's just, um go back real quick because I want to get one of those excur excursions dispatches going up uh, after the other so I don't waste too much time uh, just to get the maximum out of it da -da -dee, da -da -doo, da -da -doo. in this case it would always be nice to <gasps> have back. this manager pool from the outside too there like are matters that need your approval with some kind you of a can pigeon go check system them in the office so that's 150 we got that done and uh, uh there's nothing up here wait a minute there's a there's a fire alignment somewhere there we go 50 percent well it's not ready yet uh let's go and take that one here for some reason why is that one 50. oh yeah hmm, makes sense uh let's Start this one. Alright. So, and back we go. Do, 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 do. 
So, the Moronto family ruled the port, strongly opposed the regular ruling thing, whatever. What is this? Uh, trade skill tool merchant. What can we get here? Green stuff, mostly. Hmm. It's 1,500 coin. How much do you actually get if you finish a dungeon, right? Because you do definitely get some silver. I need to check that. Boost because stamina. then you can just go Restores quickly through a dungeon uh, and Give buy yourself <laughs> multiple uh, trading tools. And once you did that, then the chances of having a certain effect may increase. And then you can kind of skip the whole repair system. So, wave stand forward. Yes, 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 yes. Let's check that warehouse. Suspicious people are gathering in the dockside warehouse abandoned by merchants. Hello. Who's there? Oh. Materials. How'd you find this place? Oh. Got it. Now then. Let's check over here. What do we have? And the ship materials missing from the shipyard. How do we know it's the missing material? Thing up here. Report back to Kalos. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's another side mission. Just opened up. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't miss this once in a lifetime opportunity. Give the secret medicine of Annika a try. I'll make your body as hard as steel and give you the strength of a hundred men. You'll become invincible, impervious to even the sharpest play. Give it a sip. Oh, you there. You look pretty strong, adventurer. Yes, you seem like quite the tough type. Please come over here. Now, you all can see the rock next to me, yes? Twenty men could hammer away at it night and day and it still wouldn't break. It's the steel rock from Kulza, the land of lava. Have you heard of it? Have you ever touched it? Yeah, don't touch it just yet. No. But would you try smashing this rock with a mallet? If you succeed at breaking it, I'll give you tenfold the price of this medicine. All right. Uh, do I really need to hit it with a hammer, or do I break it somewhere else? With the mallet. Um. And boom. The hammer is lighter than it looks. I think we're getting cheated. Let's try this again. That is quite suspicious. Hmm. Quite sturdy, isn't it? You all saw it for yourselves, right? Twenty adults in their prime could not possibly take down this adventure. But even so, the rock wouldn't break. Now give this medicine a try. It will make your body as hard as steel and give you the strength of hundred men. You will become invincible and pervious to even the sharpest blades. It contains the strength of the guardian from across the sea, only available in Annika. Now then, let's uh, drink this strange. Or potion. What's in this? Something's not right. Mm, break the rock with the mallet. But this is the same mallet. This is much heavier than the other hammer. Hmm. And we got cheated. Sorry. The mallet? Did you catch on? Uh, let's have a word. Just you and I. The medicine I sell really is good for you. I just added a little dramatic flair to, <laughs> to, to emphasize its benefits. Please. I've got a wife and kids who depend on me like a bunch of baby bunnies. I'm trying to make an honest living here, I'm begging you. If you could graciously overlook this, I'll make it worth your while. Hmm. And we got ourselves some new skills. The last ones, in fact. Right. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Report back to the house. Oh, there is no follow up. Too bad. Now then. Mm, yep. The thing is, all of those specialty abilities are just... Oh, they're slotted all the way down here. Quite interesting. So, what do we have here? Oh, Barrage. There we go. This is a 20-second skill. Let's test this one out. Um, Which other skill could I exchange with it? I mean, it's 20 seconds. Uh, that means I could exchange it with another one. It also says Homing Barrage, right? It's a normal one. Hmm. Plant a homing device at a target location within 8 meters. A missile comes flying after 4 seconds, exploding, dealing damage. Very high stagger and weak point level 1. Already on it. And once you level it up, it of course does even more damage. 
It's just that the cooldown is quite weird. What do we have here? 24 seconds. Hmm. Kind of feels as if I could exchange with the rocket launcher. Yeah. Like, the rocket skill is kind of funny and everything, but... What if I just don't use the rockets? I could try it down there. Then I have, like, uh, some fast skills up here. Oh, Plasma Storm. But Plasma Storm needs some uh, some stun capabilities. What do we have here? Guiding device installation distance plus so and so many meters. We don't care. Delay between installation device and missile arrival is minus four seconds. This one says four, now it's three. Movement speed of foes in range of guiding device goes down so that we can hit it. Crit rate goes up. Okay, on hit, damage to lesser and uh, normal foes goes up. Damage to push immune foes goes up as well. Hmm. The enemy, like, we don't really attack normal and lesser enemies with stuff like this, right? Um, it would be best to have the bonus damage um, increase on higher level enemies. And most of them are, of course, all push immune, so this is a boss killer thing. What else we got? Crit damage plus 100% when dropping an EMP bomb. No longer launches foe into the air, and on hit, stuns the enemy for 5 seconds. Stagger level plus 1. Mm. Crit damage goes up. Uh, so this one would be good in connection, uh, conjunction with this thing here, so that you can get a decent amount of crit. Now, drop a bomb that inflicts 60% bonus damage, creates a contamination area at the point of impact, inflicting 5% of base damage every 1 second for 6 seconds. Alright. I think I'm not going for the EMP, I'm going for this one here, so that I have a like, tons uh, of extreme skills just to use. That's kind of funny. Right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> now, the barrage, the barrage, the barrage. Uh, air raid is funny, napalm thing is also quite nice. So, let's see. I think I'm going to exchange it with the rockets. And ba boom. And if I exchange it with the rockets, I can also just get rid of some points in the rockets, right? There we go. And the other points will be spent in here. Perfect. So, um, push immune, of course. Oh, wait. Delay. Movement speed goes down. Guiding device. Hmm. 7,000 damage. That is a lot. Okay, uh, let's just do it like so, uh, and then we can test it out a bit. So we do this. Oh, it just works. Whoa. Awesome. So I can use two of those, another 20 and another 20, to do tons of damage. Quite nice, quite nice, quite nice. Hmm, but what about this uh, air raid that I had before? Is there a way to... Uh... If I can't stagger enemies, it doesn't matter. Before filing, you flick 10% of face damage to the front. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Oh! Never really tried this one. Let's see what happens. Well, it just continues a little bit. Um, let's take that one inside. Oh, you cannot change it. Yeah, when it doesn't cool down. Hmm, maybe I can try a red, yeah, a red loadout and a blue loadout. <laughs> and one of them utilizes, like, stun capabilities and the other one just utilizes AOE altogether. So, let's take that one and, yeah, the big one is back again. The barrage stays like this and... Do I have any more points spent on other skills? I don't think so. Hmm. Quick barrage increases rocket firing speed. Stun doesn't work. Recoil doesn't work. Yeah. When it comes to bosses, you just have to go pure damage. Just to get the max out of it. Now then. Um. Cows. Let's talk to him. Pirates are stealing ship materials. Mm hmm. <laughs> Figured that out just now, did you? Yeah, my capable soldiers already brought in the pies, just as I thought. 
all these stories of the king's knight are exaggerated. <sighs> if I were by his majesty's side, I would have the title king's knight by now. My troops are currently investigating the pirates to find out what they're after and who they're working for. They've probably figured it out all out already. Oh dear, I almost feel bad. I'm so capable that I've left you nothing to take credit for. Well, I don't need one. Also, I don't want to take credit for anything as long as the stuff gets done. The arrested done, pirate good. is here. Mm -hmm. Greetings, King's Knight. Yeah, I heard that you helped us catch this pirate, but he still won't talk at all. He's so stubborn. Can you possibly make him talk? Yes, I can. No, oh, um, you're from. Let's make him talk. Kind of reminds me of the interrogation methods in Evil Dreamers. Uh, huh. I don't remember. I was just joking. Mm, maybe we need to give him some booze also. Ah, we need anger, anger, anger. anger. We go with fury, uh, but maybe anger is also an option. Who knows? Yeah, fury might be an option. There we go. Oh, you've sure got the temper of a pirate. Yep. Now, let's uh, speak to him. Uh, uh, Tis all because of the pirate they call Black Fang. Mm -hmm. For our sea dogs, ships are more valuable than life itself, you know. But then that went set all our ships on fire. Uh, no, we needed a way to make a living, so we restored, uh, resorted to borrowing a few supplies. Um, this is all because of Black Fang. If it weren't for that terrifying, merciless parrot, there'd be no reason for us to be doing this right. Right, no question about it. If it weren't... Blah, blah, yeah, same text, same dialogue, same ending. And... Uh, let's report back to Kelsey. What? That means the pirate Blackfang dared to foil the perfect plan of Lord Cal's here! What do you mean, perfect plan? I will make her completely regret coming for me. I'll send the troops right away. That carnaving pie is the greatest disaster that ever befell the terror. Shall capture Black Fang for King the Right. Oh, right. Um, hey, you. King's Knight, care to bet who can catch Black Fang first? Of course, my soldiers, we get to her first, you know. Hmm, even so, some people seem to have dubbed you Letera's sword. Let's settle this once and for all, then, and everyone will know who the true terror sword is, including you. I've already dispatched my soldiers to the uh, Croconese fishing village to start tracking. Um, never mind. You'd better start looking for Blackfang yourself, too. If you don't hurry, you'll end up watching me take credit for all my amazing feats. Nothing left for you to do. <laughs> Look at the time. Oh, totally do now. Let's investigate. That must be her. Check Blackfang's wanting poster. Ah, that is definitely her. Speak with a decop in the fishing village. And decop and the fishing village is Coco something something. Ah, uh, somewhere in the north, which is uh, this one here. The Coco no easy see whatnot. Can't even pronounce that. Ah, uh, Coconese seashore. There we go. Sometimes it's better to read, but I want to know what the other areas here are. Let's check these all right. Mm. So we got that much going. Uh, immigration office. Uh -huh. So this is where the people arrive. There don't seem to be anyone here. Usually there's some line of people waiting. Then what else do we have here? Some fishies. Nothing here. Older, yeah, the fish magic and Hassel and Molly. What do we have down here? Riff, ocean line embankment. Uh, select the continent and click board to get aboard the ocean liner. Hmm. Adventurers using the a crystalline aura can use ocean liners at a fifty percent discount. Question: How much do you pay for that? Um, they're not ready. It would be nice to see at least the, um, the cost for it. Uh, unlock requirements, visit sea, swamp, forest, and da 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 da. Visit this, visit that, and... Hmm. Looks like we need to do some missions for that first. That could take a little while. Alright, uh, how many more? Six Moko cars. I mean, the Mokokos can only be in the tavern, right? Like, somewhere where the stuff usually is hidden. 
I mean, I went all around here and I haven't seen anything. Strange. Okay, let's check the top side area. That might be... This well, nice. most of the Mako Ah, there's one. Oh, the the Everybody robs so many ships. Hmm. Hmm. Hey there, adventurer. Looks like you... It's kind of nice to be in an area where there's a bit more gray, so you can see the green from the Moko is a bit better. Oh, what do we have here? Hmm, storage keeper, another one thing poster. Uh huh. Uh, that's this thing again. It's that building, another one. Let's check out the northern parts here, real quick. Hmm. That's not it. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Hidden in a brush. You gotta get. So, two out of six. Four more to go. And as usual, the last ones are bunched together inside a house or something. I thought it was in the tavern. Maybe I have to check again. But. So it's not here, then it has to be somewhere up here. Maybe be ah ha 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 ha. Always somewhere behind. Once you know that they cheat you with the locations, it's quite a quite a enjoyable collecting those. So What do we have here? Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing over here. What is this? Moronto Manor. Uh, nope. Nothing there. There is a... Oh, there's something to investigate. What do we have here? Carl's Diary. Dear Diary, Mother passed away. As the second wife, she lived like a shepherd. Not many grieve her death now. Had I not been the only child and her heir of this family, I too would have met a fate similar to hers. Mother always said that I should en ensure that I never bring any shame to the family. Even before I was fully inducted into the family, 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 I've learned to keep my chin up and rule over the lesser people. You must step on others if you do not wish to be stepped on yourself. That is the life of an aristocrat. Those were my mother's final words. Interesting viewpoint. Seems to be a bit aggressive. But it makes sense. If you always have uh, met aggression in your life, then of course this will be reflected in your own behavior. Hmm. Why couldn't I find the remaining mocos? That means one thing. The remaining mocos have to be in the buildings close by. That was just not looking uh, good enough. So let's see. Starting with this one. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, you could also destroy things, right? Ugh. Oh. Why is there destruction? It doesn't need to be. I mean, look at this. There are vases around. Oh, wait a minute. So that is not the location we need to be in. Uh, and there could be something hidden down here. I mean, this is a nice spot to hide things. And um, damn it! Uh, want to get in there? 
so you could hide something behind here, of course. Uh, hmm. And that's actually a perfect location. Nope. Nope. Everybody's here just to talk to the culprit, right? Uh, nope. Can't go through here. It's nothing there. Behind here would be also a nice place to hide things. Mm -mm. And I check this one already. And that one immediately goes out. Once you enter that square, what's going on? Ah, uh, I think I clicked on it, then I loaded the other area, and then I kind of... The whole thing behaved like that again. So, let's see. Ah, there we go. There's another one. Number four. Two more to go. Next to the potion merchant. Nothing here, nothing down there, and... Uh, that's a good location. So, let's try that. Nereus Tavern. Wait a minute. Again? So many Nereus. Okay. Hmm. Exchange World Tree Leaves. So... Nah, we don't need to do that. Not yet. Exchange Igne Tokens. Nah. Wait a minute. The first one gives you what? Uh, oh. A mound. Yeah, the beetle. <laughs> For the first Igne Token. If you manage to... Wait. Nah, this is talking. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's not it. And that's also not it. And uh, there's nothing down there, too. Great. I think we got pretty much all the areas now. Maybe one exception. Mm. Have any letters to send? One exception being the area where you actually got to. That one over here. Ah, there's one. So, there could be another one on the other side of it, somewhat. Nothing here, nothing... <laughs> nope. Have to be really close to that barrier. Come on, there's nothing there. Alright, so... Damn it, uh, F7 doesn't do anything, I hope. Hmm. One more Moko to find. The King's Knight! It's an honor to meet you! Someone should kill off those pirates so I can get back to work. Mm hmm. We are not here for anger issues. Right. Why is there no Mokoko down here? I mean, this would be the perfect spot. Hmm. Hey there, adventurer. Looks like you could use some repair. But if that's not the perfect spot, then oh, what if you have to fish for it? I your older brothers. Uh, fish trap doesn't. Oh, what if you have to fish for it? Oh, you mean? Did you Alrighty. see anyone suspicious? Let's uh, check out this area here. I mean, look at this. Nothing there yet. Nothing, 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 nothing. What should I do? Hmm. Thing here. Okay. That let's. This yeah. too nice. It break my back. That means there's it's only one more to know the ships. The merchants. They've already robbed so many ships. Okay. 
it's working. Ah, there we go, the last one. And we got it. Say. So, took a little while. But if the uh, area is fairly small, then that's a nice and quick and easy Knight. thing to do. So it's an honor to meet you. Alrighty, and before we go through this barrier and enter the Kokonese seashore, we're going to end this episode. Until next time then, like and subscribe of course, and uh, ta-ta!